Well, for the first time since a controversial business deal that landed him reportedly a huge payday, we are hearing from former Vice President Al Gore on why he decided to sell his media company, Current TV, to Al Jazeera, a network that has expressed some extremely anti-American views in the not-too-distant past, in particular its Arab wing. Uh, he sold to Al Jazeera English, but they too have come under heavy criticism for some of their anti-American alleged biases. Take a listen to Mr. Gore's response when he was questioned by Matt Lauer about the sale of his network to Al Jazeera on the Today Show. Yet even as you sold to Al Jazeera, you in the book blast other television news programs saying this, virtually every news and political commentary program on television is sponsored in part by oil, coal and gas companies, not just during campaign seasons, but all the time, year in and year out, with messages designed to soothe and reassure the audience that everything is fine, the global environment is not threatened. And the critics jumped mm. and they said, here's the guy who yeah. just sold current TV to Al yeah. Jazeera, which gets an undetermined determined amount of funding from the country of Qatar, which gets its money from oil reserves. Isn't there a contradiction in that? I certainly understand that criticism. I disagree with it because I think Al Jazeera has obviously long since established itself as a really distinguished uh, and effective news gathering organization. But if they any get of the funding there. from a country that has that bases its wealth on fossil fuels, and fossil fuels are the enemy you target in climate change, yeah. isn't there a bit of hypocrisy in that? Uh, I, well, I get the criticism. I just disagree with it because this network uh, has established itself. It's objective. It's won major awards in countries around the world, and its climate coverage, as I said a moment ago, has been outstanding and extensive. David Bossie is president of the Citizens United Advocacy Group. He once worked as a congressional investigator and has been a political activist for more than a decade now. Wow. Uh, so he, he gets the criticism. He just disagrees with it because Al Jazeera is such a distinguished and effective news gathering organization whose climate coverage he likes. Does that do it for you? Well, if this wasn't so dangerous, it would be laughable. Look, this is this is Al Gore making a hundred million dollars on the sale. That's what he personally is reported to have made. One hundred million dollars on the sale of his station, current television, to Al Jazeera. That's what this is about. So let's not talk about hypocrisy. I really I think it's ridiculous that he would even make that argument. I find it funny. But he made a hundred million bucks. Let's just call it what it is. Lauer had him dead to rights. He had him he did, dead he to rights because that that soundbite, that full screen quote they put up from Al Gore's book, where he talks about how virtually every news and political commentary program on television is sponsored in part by oil, coal, right. and gas companies, and the horrible, evil of that. Horrible, all right, so he's horrible. upset that oil has an influence on news and political uh, commentary programs. And so Lau Matt Lauer asked him. So then why would you sell to Al Jazeera that gets all of its funding, a huge portion of its funding, from oil, from big oil in Qatar? And, and all he could really say was, I understand the criticism, but I disagree with it. Well, why? Why do you right. disagree with it? Well, he disagrees with it because he made a hundred million dollars. But my point, listen, this is this is an outrage. This sale is actually an outrage. And I think that that people should really be up in arms. Look, Al Jazeera is a mouthpiece for the Muslim Brotherhood. They're the mouthpiece for Hamas. They're the mouthpiece for Al Qaeda. They are a dangerous operation. They're a propaganda organization that feeds the hatred that is boiling up against America and Americans across the world especially in the Middle East. And that's what makes this uh, being able to gin up anti-Americanism here in America through Al Jazeera is now, in my opinion, a very dangerous future for all of us. Well, it's not. I mean, Al Jazeera Arabic is the one that's been deeply problematic. And this is Al Jazeera English, but it's also been problematic. I mean, they hired a former <laughs> Nightline correspondent who said he had to quit because of the severe anti-American bias, at least in part, that was his reason, uh, from leaving that network. And they haven't been picked up by virtually any cable distributor here in the United States. They couldn't get on the air. So who should help them out? but the former vice president but of the United States of America. He, he's 500 votes from being president of the United States. And I think this is a very un-American 
thing to have done. Uh, to give Al Jazeera a foothold here in this country, in my opinion, is un-American. How does he, he the, the rationale that he tried to offer, other than I just disagree, I just disagree, was their coverage when it comes to environmental issues, in his view, has been outstanding and extensive. Well, he, in his, when he lambasts lambas the, the news organizations in his book, he doesn't talk about how, oh, but this network covers climate change fairly, and this network, I'll give them a, I mean, he's upset about the influence of big oil in the news. And, and does he now make himself the number one perpetrator of big oil's influence in the news by this sale? Absolutely. Look, you have big oil buying uh, current television. That's what it is. That's all it is. Al Gore can make whatever excuses he could, you know, hang his hat on whatever he wants. But it's it, the American people understand. And, and by the way, I, 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 Al Jazeera Arabic, Al Jazeera English, the American people don't care. Al Jazeera is Al Jazeera from the, your average American's point of view. And I think that that is why the American people will reject this, um, this television station. I hope that they yeah. have trouble staying on the air. What do you think this does to Al Gore's legacy? I mean, there's still a lot of people in this country oh. who do love him and believe yeah. in his climate change fight uh, and, and think he should have been president back in 2000. But That's right. I mean, when that exchange with Matt Lauer, which was just so telling, what, does it do anything, do you think, to his I, legacy, his I, I reputation? Tell you, I got to tell you, I think it does. And when it comes from someone like Matt Lauer, who's, you know, kind of an easygoing interviewer, he's not the most confrontational. He really bit into Al Gore, in my opinion, and showed him and showed the hypocrisy that is Al Gore. And I really do think Al Gore has devastated his legacy. When he was somebody who was thought of in American history as walking away, remember back in 2000, what happened? He came within 500 votes of winning the presidency. And what he did, it was, he was a, people thought highly of him yeah. and how he dealt with it. And, and I think he's really destroyed that. Well, I wonder whether he was expecting that from, from Matt. He, he may have gotten more than he bargained for. But, but <laughs> I I've, I'll right. take, I mean, Matt Lauer has given a lot of people a hard time, maybe unexpectedly in some cases, but that's Al Gore right. got, a, got the full treatment today. All right, David, thank you. Thanks very much for having me.